Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Have you ever struggled with uninstalling software from your computer? It can be quite a hassle, especially when the traditional methods don't work as expected. But fear not, today we are diving into the world of PowerShell and we'll show you three powerful methods to uninstall software packages with ease. So let's get started. The first method leverages the power of Windows Management Instrumentation or WMI. This tool is the backbone of device and application management in the Windows environment. It's like having a backstage pass to your system. Now I'm going to make this video short but here are the main steps for using the WMI method. So first of all, we will need to get a list of all the installed applications, right? In order to find the exact name of the application we want to uninstall. For that, we can use the get WMI object, Win32 pro uh, product, and we will select the name, right? If we press enter, this will show all the applications that you currently have installed on your system. Give it a while, it might take something. So I have here, but again, these are not arranged, but I have something here called PowerShell something. I think there was PowerShell test application. If we search it, we will surely find it here. But for sure, it's here on my system. Now, the next step is to identify the exact name of the application, right? Which in this example, I know it already. The next one is to create a variable for your chosen application. For that, first of all, I will need to show you this command line right here, where we search for the name to be something like I just mentioned, right? If we press enter, this will show all the information that we need, like the uh, UID, the name, the vendor, the version, caption, everything, right? So what I mentioned previously is that we will need to create a variable for your chosen application, in this case, this whole command here will be our variable and then we will initiate the uninstallation command for that we will open up powershell eyes okay cool and here what we are going to do is say here my app will be the exact same command that you saw earlier and then we will just tell it to uninstall if we click run now it will uninstall our application from the system while the VMI method is effective, it has its limitations, such as being resource consuming and not applicable to all applications. But fear not, we have more methods to explore. Method number two involves PowerShell package provider commandlets. These commandlets allow you to manipulate your system package effortlessly. So here's how to uninstall software using the package provider method. First of all, we need to find out what package providers we have. Now, these are quite standard on all the operating systems, so we can do something like this. And as you see, we can uninstall MSI applications, patches, NuGet applications, PowerShell GET and programs, right? Uh, next, we want to search for our package, right? Remember, our package was PowerShell test application, and we can use this command here, get package name and auto size. So let's click and enter and see if it finds it. And it found it. Uh, you also have the version, the source, the provider name. Okay, so now that we know that this is an MSI, we can, uninst we can uninstall it easily. All we need to do is just type this command here, get package name and uninstall package. That's it. You can easily use this method to uninstall packages. Method number three, the uninstallation string method. This is ideal for custom packages. If you ever wonder how to remove a package listed in the control panels, add remove programs, this one's for you. So simply locate the package entry in the registry and in identify its uninstall string. But it's a little bit more complex because there are actually two locations on the machine when the ad, where the add remove programs store their information. The first one is in software wo 6432 node Microsoft Windows current version uninstall. And the main one is this, this is for 32 bit applications. And this one without the wo 6432 bit, these are for 64 bit applications. Now I know for a fact that my application is a 32 bit. So I'm going to go again here. And here comes the problem. You need to find the exact uh, package name. Now, 
I'm lucky here that I have my Go ID here and it's EFE. And if we search it here, we will surely find it. So EFC and this is it. This is our PowerShell test application and this is our uninstall string, which you can use easily or being an MSI and we know about MSIs, we can simply use MSI exec slash X and the product code to uninstall the package. So there you have it. We've explored three dynamic methods to uninstall software packages using PowerShell, the VMI method, package providers, and uninstallation string. Each method has its strengths and limitations, but together they provide you with precise control over your software environment. Whether you're dealing with conventional applications or custom packages, these PowerShell methods give you the power to manage your software with confidence and efficiency. The key is understanding when to use each method based on your specific needs. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe for more tech insights. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences with PowerShell and installation methods, feel free to drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye all.